Well, it's a really dramatic scene. The video shows just a lot of things happening really quickly. Multiple different angles of body worn camera footage was shown and released to the public today. We have a quick breakdown of just what happened, how this situation escalated and a warning before you see some of the footage. A lot of it can be tough to see. You'll hear gunshots. It might be tough to watch. Driving a U-Haul? Yeah. Okay, yeah, can you talk to me real quick over here? A Fairfax yeah, County worried. police officer, only identified right. now as a third-year right. FCPD cop, walked up to Brandon LaMagne and, after a brief conversation, said he was going to handcuff him because the U-Haul he pulled up to a gas station on Richmond Highway in was flagged as stolen. But then LaMagne started attacking the officer, reaching for his gun. <laughs> The tussle moved to inside the police car, which spun out and crashed into the neighboring McDonald's. Then two officers responded. The first officer, an eight-year veteran, fired several shots, and then a second officer went up to a car, pulled LaMagne out, and we're going to pause the video here because this is the moment he fired three shots at LaMagne on the ground. At a press conference, police chief Kevin Davis offered his assessment after viewing the body-worn camera video. He was assaulted, he was taken hostage, he was abducted. Um, the actions of the two responding officers, uh, I believe, were more than appropriate given what we know then Now, this video does answer several questions that we've had since we first started reporting on this scene as breaking news a few weeks ago, but there are still some questions that remain, including uh, about the uh, potential delay in when uh, aid was rendered to the person who was shot and killed. Those questions uh, raised at today's press conference. We'll have more on what Ch Chief Davis said as far as what the investigation is looking into coming up later on DC News Now. Reporting live in Fairfax County, Max Marcella, DC News Now. All right, Max, thank you so much. And the Fairfax County Commonwealth's attorney, Stephen Descano, released a statement to DC News Now saying tonight, at this stage, consistent with standard operating procedures, my team is undertaking an independent and thorough review. I can assure the community that I will come to an independent decision in this matter.